Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am back with yet another video on how to install correctly your NVMe SSD on your motherboard. If you are new to assembling the PC, this is the tutorial for you guys. As you know, this is one of the video of the series of videos that I am doing on creating an ultimate astrophotography image processing rig that has all the power that is required for processing your astrophotography session. Guys, I have already done another video on how to install CPU on your motherboard. If you have not seen that video, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. And also guys, I have done an unboxing of this CPU and this motherboard and this NVMe me ssd card if you have not seen those videos as well i will put the link in the video above or in the description below for your reference before we move further guys ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share with you guys so guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys, before we start with the installation process of this NVMe SSD on your motherboard, you should know where to install this NVMe SSD. On my motherboard, I have three slots present, so one here, this is PCIe Gen 4. This is M.2 Gen 4, which also duals the role for PCIe. And this is M.2 slots Gen 3. I have here two slots behind this plate. This is the heat sink plate that you see. Some of the SSDs that does not come with the heat sinks. So these are the plates that you can use for the heat sink to dissipate all the heat which is generated by your NVMe SSD. So here guys, I have one slot which is generation 4 and here I have two slots which is generation 3. So guys, on my motherboard since my NVMe already comes along with this heatsink plate, I do not need these plates to be used after I install this NVMe SSD. Whichever place I am going to choose, I am not going to use this heatsink plate anymore after the installation of this NVMe SSD card. So guys, as, as per the specifications, if, if you have already seen my video of unboxing this uh, NVMe SSD card, this is a generation three NVMe X60 with 512 GB memory and this has a length of 80 mm so guys here i have a full length and this is generation 4 here i have one full length and one with 80 mm slot at the bottom uh, which is these both are gen 3 so here guys i will not be installing my nvme ssd because this is generation 4 and i might be able to use it for any other peripheral that i want to install in the future so here guys i am going to use one of these slots specifically this one since it has a perfect length for this NVMe SSD. So I'm going to use the second slot, which is generation three M.2 slot, which will be perfect for using this NVMe X60. So let's get started. Before we start with the installation of this NVMe SSD, what we need here is a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew this metal plate, which is a heat sling plate that is already installed on the motherboard. So let's uh, unscrew this. It has one screw here and one screw at the bottom. So let's unscrew this plate from the motherboard first. As you can see guys, once you unscrew this plate, this will come out. At the bottom of the plate, you see there are two stickers here. At the bottom of the sticker, you have a thermal paste already applied. So if you have an NVMe SSD, which does not have thermal insulation already inbuilt, this plate can be used as thermal insulation for you guys. So as you can see, it has thermal paste already applied. So all you have to do is uh, remove the sticker on the top and then it will stick it to your NVMe SSD after the installation. So as of now, as you know, my NVMe SSD already comes with the metal plate, which dwells the role of heat sinks as well. So I will not be needing this plate anymore. So I will keep this aside for now. So as you can see guys, there are two slots present. This is one slot of your NVMe SSD that has full length, which is 110 mm, which it can support. And this is the second slot for generation 3 m.2 slot for nvme uh, ssd card this is an 80 mm length that it supports so this is perfect for my this nvme ssd as it has an 80 mm length and it's m.2 generation 3 and this is generation 3 port as well so this will perfectly match for my need so this is the place guys where i am going to install this nvme ssd before we start with the installation process let us see how the ports look like as you can see on this port it also has a mechanical lock 
which basically means that you cannot put your SSD in the wrong direction. So it has a small notch. So it has a small connector and a bigger connector, notch in between. So here, as you can see on my NVMe SSD as well, I have a smaller connector and a larger connector. So it, this will perfectly align with this uh, uh, socket that you have so that you do not put this NVMe SSD in the wrong direction and then at the top you see here you have the lock that will lock the back side of the NVMe SSD you also have a small circular notch that will fit on this uh, pin that it has and then you have a lock which is created which you can slide and lock this SSD on to this plate so you do not need any screws to tighten it up it will gently slide in this socket the front side and the back side will lock on this pin that it has at the back so let's get started guys let's put this NVMe SSD so first thing that you need to do is ensure that this lock is open so what we need to do is slide uh, as you can see it it has a little notch with which you can slide this and uh, turn this around so before we start with uh, putting this nvme ssd in this socket first we need to unlock this put it in the unlock position how do you know it is in unlock position is because the plastic side the white plastic side is at the back and the on the front side you have the metal exposed so that your back side pin perfectly aligns uh, with this pin on the top all right, so let's get started and install this NVMe SSD onto your motherboard. So ensure that your small notch aligns with the small notch side of your socket as well. So let's press it gently and push it inside. As you see, it slides nicely and then it aligns perfectly when you push it down. When you first put it in the socket, it will be in this format, little elevated. Gently press it so that it goes into the the back notch aligns with this pin and then what you have to do is this plastic you have to gently slide it so that it locks in the position so this is how you install your nvme ssd onto your motherboard and guys again uh, once more if you have to remove and change this nvme ssd all you need to do is first unlock this from the back so as you can see there is a notch what you have to do is slide it to unlock it once it is unlocked it will be elevated gently pull it out so that your nvme ssd card is deattached from your motherboard so as you can see now it is deattached let's put it back once more inside so align the notch like before press it gently it will be little elevated like this press it down to align this notch to this pin and then this is the plastic lock that you have that you can lock it to your motherboard. So depending upon the model of the motherboard guys, this feature will be present or not. Maybe you will have a screw at the back to screw it down to your motherboard. Uh, but then uh, this is the same procedure that you need to follow to install this NVMe SSD to your motherboard. So this is it guys. This is the end of the tutorial on how to install this NVMe SSD card on your motherboard. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.